Hello, this is Matt on the Moon Lambo channel, and this is a fun topic of conversation. Here's an article from Zy Crypto, and it's titled, Why This Analyst Believes XRP Will Completely Annihilate Almost Every Other Altcoin Once There Is Regulation. And they're not the only crypto media outlet that picked this up. Here's a headline uh, from Crypto Newsflash. Ripple, Crypto Whale Predicts XRP Will Skyrocket due to U.S. regulation. This is going to be a fun one. I like this. But uh, before we go any further, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, if you would please ever so delicately tap the like button, I would definitely appreciate it. Just a frilly little tap. I'm looking at you, Mr. Muscles, in the corner there, getting ready to Hulk smash. No, only dorks do that, and I'm not impressed by your muscles. Also, go ahead and subscribe to the Moon Lambo channel. Don't cost nothing, son. Take my free content, damn it. Because if you don't, I mean, that, that's hurtful. You tell me you won't take my content for the price of free? <laughs> uh, how will I go on? Shout out to uh, crypto vet Dr. Harry J. Malinsky for sending this piece my way. Thank you very much, my friend. I really do appreciate it. And by the way, I really do, just so you know, I, wanna, I, I only say this from time to time, but I do want people to know because there's always new uh, people uh, joining, subscribing to the Moon Lambo channel. Uh, I really appreciate it when people tag me and stuff on the Twitters and uh, and uh, communicate with me in the, the comment section of my videos. Uh, I want to be clear that like it's completely overwhelming. There's just hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of, of uh, comments and notifications per day across both platforms. And so I, I can't respond to everything. And I also legitimately miss some stuff. So like if you tagged me, I just want you to know like I'm not snubbing you. Either I, I'm just so overwhelmed I cannot respond to everything or I legitimately missed it. Either way, just know that I genuinely appreciate you sending stuff. But uh, case in point here, when you send me stuff, there are times where I'm going to pick it up and it's going to affect what I put out on the channel. If you've got something cool to share and it fits in with something I want to talk about, then I'm always going to give credit where it is due. So uh, keep keep on doing it. I just want to make sure that nobody thinks like I'm, I'm snubbing. I, I'm nothing more, nothing but uh, appreciative and completely humbled by the fact that people want to watch my channel. So a very genuine and sincere uh, thank you to, to everyone. But uh, into this piece now, uh, let's jump into the one from Crypto News Flash. The popular analyst Crypto Whale has explained via Twitter in a series of tweets why he is extremely bullish in the long term for the price development of XRP. The reason for this is that Ripple is the only project on the market that is vigorously pursuing the regulation of cryptocurrencies. As a result, the XRP token will benefit massively uh, once a comprehensive legal framework for cryptocurrencies is in place uh, in the United States, according to CryptoWell. And so here's, here's the, the actual quote, and I had the Twitter thread open up too, so here's the first one. Uh, the only project in the entire market that is pushing for crypto regulations is XRP. They know that once these regulations are added, it will completely annihilate almost every other altcoin and make uh, XRP's demand skyrocket. Yeah, and I, so I, th I do think that's a factor. And um, I'm, I'm going to split hairs. And, ah, maybe I shouldn't do this. I, I, I like this. I like what this, this guy wrote. And so um, I don't know. I, it's semantics. I know what he's saying. It's, it's not that it's obviously the case that Ripple, a developer building on top of the XRP ledger, is, is the one that's pushing for the regulations with XRP just being a decentralized cryptocurrency that they're positioning to be used as a bridge currency. So it's not XRP that's doing it. So there's like a team XRP. So maybe I'm getting a little bit too in the weeds there. But I don't know. I just try and be precise with words is all. But uh, I, I do like what he wrote there. And I, I just saw, too, uh, right before I recorded this, that uh, he's, uh, he was following me. So I followed back because I do appreciate that. <laughs> but look at this. I, like, I, I'll tell you what. He sounds like a brother from another mother to me. Because take a look. He wrote, uh, finance is sharing stock plus crypto trends. Okay, you know, as, as far as like uh, stock and, and like the stocks and... Uh, I don't get into stocks and stuff like that. And, and I, I talk about price action pertaining to crypto. So not exactly the same. But you'll see where it, it, it really linked up, at least in mine, in just a second here. He wrote, uh, dynamics and cycles. Entrepreneur. Uh, Non-bias slash non-emotional trading plus cryptocurrency stocks. There you go. So I don't do the trading part, but I love the non-biased, non-emotional part. Uh, yeah, right on board with that. And, and, and I appreciate that all the other humans are going to FOMO in a panic sell because that makes what happens in markets as we know them possible. I'm just not going to particip uh, participate. And I always appreciate it when there are others that come along and are capable of setting their emotions on the sidelines and just making the genuinely uh, smart moves, at least the way, is the way they seem, of course. 
But um, so anyway, he also noted that XRP will be widely criticized for being too centralized. However, in his opinion, this is only due to uh, the transparency of Ripple, which is necessary to cooperate with government agencies. And so here's what he wrote. Many criticize XRP for being too centralized, although this transparency is what uh, governments like. While other projects are focused on getting a quick batch of new investors to exit scam, Ripple has quietly been working with government agencies to ensure compliance. Yeah, and so there's a couple things there. Uh, as far as the idea of uh, XRP being centralized, it's quite clear that Ripple has no special permissions over the XRP ledger. Uh, last I checked, they are publicly stating on their website that Ripple is that they control 16% of validator nodes, just 16%. That does not give them any special permissions whatsoever over the XRP ledger. Now, as far as the transparency in terms of the uh, the way that Ripple is positioning XRP, that's that's really what the government's like. Because look, XRP, the ledger itself, it's it's just a decentralized cryptocurrency like Bitcoin is. You know, in and of itself, yeah. I mean, the government, any government's going to prefer that it's decentralized. Uh, XRP itself and the XRP ledger, the government's been but pretty clear they're not currently a huge fan of privacy coins, for example. Um, but really, um, what he's talking about here is it's just this idea that Ripple is positioning XRP, which is decentralized, to be used simply as a bridge currency. And there's, they're very transparent about their holdings, this or that. And he is, CryptoWell's nailing it here. And I, I talked about this somewhat recently as well, that uh, there was a, an interview with Brad Garlinghouse, Ripple CEO, where he was sitting down with, oh, what's the guy's name? I, was, I think it's Joe Lubin. He's one of the Ethereum guys. And then I don't know where, I, I could be the wrong name. I'm pretty sure the last name's Lubin. But uh, he was he was trying to give uh, Brad Garlinghouse a hard time on stage, which kind of backfired. <laughs> he's like, he's like, uh, so something along the lines of, "So you sure are uh, you're selling a whole lot of XRP right there?" And there's you know this or that. I think the inference was uh, or um, what he's implying is that there you know XRP is a security or this this or that. How much do you have? You know all that type of crap. And so uh, Brad Garlinghouse looked at him and was like, "So uh, how much?" Uh, how much ETH does the Ethereum Foundation have? And then Mr. Lubin, who just had this deer in the headlights look, is like, I do not know how to respond to this. And I can't remember exactly how the conversation went, but I ended up segueing and just uh, clearly Brad Garlinghouse won Mr. Lubin zero, uh, which is, I love that video. I'm going to love that forever. I mean, to, to rip on Ripple for being the most transparent company, having, like, working anywhere near blockchain is completely absurd to me on its face because especially if it's coming from the Ethereum Foundation, who, by the way, um, Vitalik Buterin, also, uh, you know, founder of, uh, of Ethereum, he also recently announced that he convinced uh, the, the rest of the, I guess, their, I think it was their board, uh, he convinced the rest of them to dump a bunch of their ETH holdings at all-time high levels. They dumped it on the bag holders of ETH. Hmm, how about that? Oh, it was ridiculous. I, I think they sold like 75,000. You, you'd have to fact check me, but I'm pretty sure it was somewhere around there. Um, and then, um, anyway, the piece continues. Though. CryptoWell also revealed that it will increase its XRP holdings once the current price correction in the crypto market bottoms out, which leads to the third and final tweet in this thread. Once Bitcoin and alts have finalized their correction, I'm planning on increasing my exposure to XRP. I've been involved with XRP since 2013, and let me tell you, there's a reason it's always held its, t its spot in the top three to five. And that is remarkable because you could go back, um, maybe the easiest way to do it other than the Wayback Machine, it would probably be just go to CoinMarketCap. I think that that's the web. I'm pretty sure they have, I can't remember where on their site, but they have um, like historic snapshots of what the market cap looked like like years and years and years ago and you can see like the the coins that were in the top 10 are not the coins that are in the top 10 today generally speaking but xrp is and has been for years and so that's why i always say like although i, I kind of from time to time bitch about how there aren't enough people in the world sufficiently parsing out the differences between cryptocurrencies rather it's just this weird speculative frenzy um I don't completely hate that because I know it's just I understand the, like the emotional buying and selling is part of what makes markets do what they need to do if you if you want to enter price discovery. So in that sense, I'm like, OK, but uh, part of the reason that it's maintained its spot is because there are enough people like me, for example, and perhaps you, if you're listening to this channel and you're an XRP holder, that's here for the long term, perhaps if you happen to be one. 
and uh, and you're just looking for legit information. Maybe maybe you care about utility and real world adoption as much as me. Well, there are enough of us out there that are going to hold as a result of what we're seeing in terms of real world adoption. I, I consider myself among them, and so there are some. I just think that when the speculative frenzy gets in there, it's just like. Pfft. Okay, <laughs> it, it only it only matters so much, but I do think as as um, you know, the the asset class continues to mature. I don't think that's going to be the case. I think that you will see XRP decouple from Bitcoin in terms of price action. But right now, like it or not, and I certainly don't, XRP is just following the price action of Bitcoin. But those chains will not always be there. Okay, I, I certainly think that it will not always look like that. And it's going to take time, but, you know, by that point, it's going to be mature. There's going to be more liquidity and volume. Uh, there's going to be less of an opportunity for asymmetrical returns. So I'm happy to be here right now while it's uh, less certain and, and a lot more messy. Uh, and I want exposure to this. And if I'm wrong and this whole thing goes to zero, I will live with that. Uh, but I do think I'm right. That's why I'm Mr. XRP Bull. Now, that being said, I am not a financial advisor. Do not buy or sell anything because of anything that I say or write that would be a very, very, very bad idea. Until next time, to the moon, Lambo.